So hello and welcome to Year of Wars Super Early Eurovision Predictions. I'm Alistair and joining me on this episode to discuss how well they did is Thomas in Luxembourg. Hello. Good evening. Feeling very nervous about this. <laughs> There's no need to be nervous. Um, but Thomas, you sent this to me last year um, and actually yours is quite unique because you sent it on a Moldovan postcard, postcard so I had to put it in my own envelope just so that I wouldn't keep peeking. Um, but could you give us a little bit of insight as to why you were in Moldova last year? <laughs> Yeah, it was a bit of a, a bit of a rushed postcard, if I remember correctly, because I think I was running quite close to the deadline. But yeah, I was in Chisinau working with uh, Ukrainian refugees at the time, doing some English courses and helping out where I could in the warehouse and etc. So Eurovision was perhaps not at the forefront of my mind, but uh, I did my best to put a few good, a few good pr predictions down in the postcard, and we'll see how I did. I can't remember what I put. I just hope that I didn't end up last. <laughs> well, honestly, we, we appreciate that you took the time and we do appreciate the effort that you made in Moldova and I'm sure we'll put a link um, for support on the, um, on this video and also on the articles. Um, but big well done for everything that you did last year. But, of course, we're here to discuss what's inside oh, here. God. So yeah. if you can give me those all-important words, we shall begin. Alistair. We're good to go. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, okay, so as you can see from the lovely postcard from Moldova, these is this is what you said last year on the 26th of July, and you say greetings from Moldova. So we start with what will be the date of the grand final, and you said the 13th of May. Oh. So we're off to we're off to the perfect start. Yeah, yeah. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. <laughs> Points on the board, as they say. <laughs> and then we move on to who will be the host city. Pick three cities in order. And you said Glasgow, Birmingham, Edinburgh. Who wasn't even on the shortlist? <laughs> and I'm pretty wasn't sure that shortlist, shortlist was. I'm sure the shortlist was out by the time you sent me this. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we move on to, if your first city of choice is picked, what will be the arena? You said the Hydro, which of course wasn't correct, but it was very close. It was between that and the MS Bank Arena in the end. Um, then we move on to pick five people you think could present the show. Yeah. And you started okay with Rylan, who was at the allocation draw. So you'll get that's a fair that's that. a fair guess. I'll take that. <laughs> Claudia Winkleman, which honestly would be, would have been iconic. So... I mean that fringe on that stage. Can you imagine? <laughs> Missed opportunity. And if anything, that's the EBU's mistake, not yours. Like <laughs> I just have a point. <laughs> <laughs> then we move on to Mons Almelev. Then we have Dermot O'Leary. Actually, you're the first person to say that, and that would have been quite good, I think. I think I, would, I know he's an ITV man, but I could have seen him making the switch to BBC for that. <laughs> then the final one, the very well-known person called Someone Young and Unknown off of TikTok. And I was wrong! <laughs> I, I presume Damn, you don't was, mean I feel like that was actually either. quite a good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you need to be a little bit more specific that, than that next time. <laughs> They're always so, trying to get the top tick community involved. I thought I stood a chance on that the top one. Tick. <laughs> yeah, it's much more fun than saying TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> right. Will Ukraine get an automatic space in the grand final? And just like everyone else, you said yes. As they should. As they should, correct. Uh, what will happen with the heart in the logo? Um, you've drawn a lovely diagram, which is absolutely minuscule. Oh my god, what a hot mess! Ba basically <laughs> says half UK, half Ukraine. So you're <laughs> half correct. <laughs> <laughs> now we move on to the bits that are harder to guess. Um, what will be the slogan for 2023? Do you remember what you said for this one? I've got no idea, but it was something cheesy as hell, I'm sure. I think it was actually what I said as well. It was stronger together. 
So you're correct, but also we'll give you something because the right sentiment was there. So <laughs> his heart was in the right place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the heart that's half UK and half Ukraine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> then we move on to number eight. How many countries will compete? You said it was going to go down to 39, and it actually went down even further to 37. But you were you were very close, so close but no cigar. Exactly. Um, number nine. Predict five countries that will advance to the grand final. Um, you're testing my um, three-letter codes here, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> uh, so you said Sweden, yeah, Switzerland, uh, Czechia, as it's now known. Uh, MAL, which I believe is Malta, oh. and Norway. So far, well, it was out close. Five. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. No one. I think we can all yet, agree that Malta so... should have been there. So, <laughs> no, sure, Jan. Five, really. <laughs> Actually, to be fair, I do like Malta. So, yeah. no shade. Yeah. Whoever's <laughs> watching <laughs> this. Um, then we move on to the other end of the scale. Predict five countries that will not advance to the grand final. Like a lot of people, you stumbled because you said Montenegro, and that is correct, but it doesn't count because they weren't there. Then you were bold and it paid off because you said Azerbaijan. Which, again, actually, I wish they had made it. So I'm kind so of sad I. that I got that. So thing, 100%. You know? <laughs> yeah. um, so to compensate for that, you then went on to say Finland, which, of course, <laughs> was actually second place. <laughs> then you said Portugal. And then you said Poland. So actually, just one out of five for the uh, for the ones that wouldn't make it. So you got five if you count the both <laughs> both rounds. Five out of ten um, is not great, is it? <laughs> um, then we move on to the last three questions. So the first of those is which of the big five will do the best in the final? Do you remember what you said? Well, I probably said Italy. It's a safe bet. You did say Italy. A very safe bet. Ended up being the only ones that were on the left-hand side of the board. So, <laughs> who saw that one coming? Just um, then we have the big question: Which country will win in 2023? Do you remember what you said? I've not got a clue. Well, it it ends with a question mark and low IDK. So, <laughs> and actually, <laughs> very on brand. You're not the you're not the first person to say this one. You actually said Lithuania. Oh, oh that was random. It was Very random, good. but actually, yeah. you, it Very came eleventh, so it's at the bottom end of the top twelve. So you're gonna get you're gonna get some points for that. So I'll take it. I'll take um, it. And finally, what slot number will the winner perform in? Do you remember what you said? Go on, hit me. Well, you said the perfect Eurovision number, and as me and Emily discovered, it was the winning slot last year. You said number 12, so you were three away, and that's not bad at all, I'd say. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Right, well, Thomas, those are all of the questions, so are you ready to hear... (laughs) Are you ready to hear your final score? We have done the maths, and Thomas, I can tell you <laughs> that the total score you could get is ah. 156. Okay. Uh, right now, we have Anthony in last place with 75, and Ooh, Emily, <laughs> Emily with 101 points at the moment. And I can tell you for the first time that you have scored. 78 points oh. and <laughs> okay <laughs> and to add to that you have tied with neil but you got more points you got more questions correct in some way than him so you are actually above him in the tie break in sixth place <laughs> sorry neil happy for me Got it for you <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Thomas. Um, I'm sure you'll be back to take part next year, as of course will yeah. Luxembourg in the real thing. That's really exciting. Yes, we're very excited about that. Thank you very much for organising once again. And uh, no worries at all. Bettering on this next year. 
Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you, Thomas.